At the beginning of 2003, I bought this 12 scale Dutch canal house. Named after one of the famous canals of Amsterdam, Single 224 is a large house with 12 rooms and an attic. The MDF Dolls House is 1 meter and 33 centimeters high, 1 meter wide, and 40 centimeters deep, which is around 52 by 39 by 16 inches. A visit to Amsterdam or a quick Google Earth search shows that many canal houses were built in brick. Here you can see the single canal in some of the brick canal houses in Google Street View. Many of these canal houses, often built in the 17th and 18th century, are crowned with the most splendid scrollwork and sculptural ornamentation. Compared to the houses on the prestigious Herengracht or Keizersgracht, the houses at the Single Canal are more modest in their ornamentation. These twin canal houses, located at Single 104 and 106, are crowned with the most beautiful vase ornaments at their gable tops. And these served as the inspiration for the vase ornament I made for my canal house. I sculpted a similar vase ornament out of paper clay, matching the flower ornaments which came with the house. In the story I created for Single 224, the canal house was built in the 17th century, but remodeled in the 18th century, around 1740, in the style of Louis XIV. This drawing shows what the house could have looked like at that time. The story of the house continues in the 19th century, when a huge fire breaks out, destroying some of the rooms and part of the façade. Much of the house was saved, but the windows had to be replaced. And this is why the house has all these elements from different centuries. For the façade I used brick sheets, which not only looks, but also feels like real brick. The houses on the single canal were often built for merchants, and not just used as a residence, but also to store goods like tea, coffee and spices. In this cross-section of a 17th century canal house, you can see three attics for storing goods, and on the left here is the hoisting system, with the hoist beam, the window, and the wheel to operate the rope and pulley system. And of course, I made an attic window and a hoist beam for my house too. To the left of the main façade, another gable can be seen. This small but very ornate gable top is part of an addition to hide the wiring behind the doll's house. In Amsterdam there are about seven or eight of these kinds of narrow facades, just wide enough for only one window. The inspiration for my addition was the Kleine Trippenhuis, seen here again with the help of Google Street View. My mini version of the small facade is attached to single 224 with magnets, so that I can easily remove it when I need to work on the wiring at the back of the house. In front of the canal house, there's a small area with a paved street and a sidewalk. I made the paving bricks out of painted sandpaper. I then added some dandelions, small grasses, blackbirds and, it wouldn't be Amsterdam without one, a bicycle to the street scene. The bicycle is parked against the stoop, the exterior staircase entrance. Below the stoop is the entrance to the basement. The main entrance is above street level. The 
house came with doors and windows, but I wanted to give the house a more imposing entrance, so I made a door grill for the door, a copy of the one I have in my real front door. I made pilasters cut from an old wine crate, and I made a transom window with a broken bed pediment. The ornaments on the pilasters are bits of an old brooch, and the Amsterdam coat of arms is a fridge magnet. The clematis by the front door had badly faded over the years and really needed attention. So I repainted all of them and sprayed them with UV Protect, hoping they'll now last at least another 20 years. Welcome, please come in. Behind the front door is the entry, which is divided into two areas. In the first area there's a small table, which is made and gifted to me by retiring miniaturist Erna. The whole table houses several miniature treasures. A blue and white plate by Kokkie Wildschut, a bunch of lilies by Jill Rawling, and a drinking horn with silver mounts by Jens Torp. Although outside the front door the clematis is flowering, the entry has a definite wintry theme. And why not? There's a little sled, an ice skates, and, still frameless, a wintry townscape on the wall, painted in oils by Ellie Ipma. On the other side of the entry, it looks like someone has just come in from some fun on the frozen canals, with their woolly hat and jumper taken off in a hurry and left on the floor. And more ice skates here. There's a pair of white leather figure skates, leather boots, and a pair of old-fashioned Dutch skates which are tied on your shoes with laces. The laces and the leather straps for the skates were made by me. The carved wooden chest was also made by me, in the David Hurley class. The inspiration for the design of the entry came from the fabulous marble hallway of Herengracht 168, and I marbled matteboard floors and wall panels in that style. The hall lanterns were made by me using glass shades, which I commissioned from a glass blower.